Hi, I'm Darian and I'm going to teach you how to take a simple pair of socks and turn it into a cute little friend. Let's get started. Here is a list of things you will need in order to make your sock monkey. The first thing you should do is turn the socks inside out. You want to make sure that one is profile and flat. And that the other is as though you have it on your foot, but the foot is completely flat. And you want the heel part of the sock pointing upwards towards the toes. I made a little diagram for where we're going to be sewing and cutting out the pieces. You can either draw the set on your socks using chalk or coordinating pen, or you can do what I do and have blind, unadulterated trust in yourself and your skills. That comes back to bite me later. And after the sewing, I start out with the legs. So you take the sock with the heel pointing towards the toe and you sew along the lines that I showed you. Then I'll separate the legs with my fabric scissors by cutting directly down the center of the two legs that I just sewed. And I'll be cutting until just under the heel of the sock, which will become the monkey's butt. Next, I'll cut out the feet, and here's where my trust in myself comes back to bite me. I noticed that I didn't go all the way to the edges of the sock when I was sewing, and I have to go back and sew the subsequent holes shut. After that, I just cut out the rounded bits, leaving a little bit of sock. I like to turn this bit before I move on because turning sock monkeys takes up so much of my patience, and if I did all the pieces in one go, I would never make another sock monkey again. Basically, you just want to turn the body first, then the legs, but it's easier said than done. You will probably need a dowel or a chopstick or pencil to help you out with this part. And because the next part can be daunting, here's another look at our quote unquote pattern. With the right sock, we'll be making the tail, ears, mouth, and arms. The mouth is the easiest bit because you just cut out the heel and turn it right side out. Then I like to start with the tail. Again, it's just following the pattern. Or if you're me, blind trust. that you just cut out the pieces. Now we just turn all the pieces right side out. This and stuffing the sock monkey can be quite time consuming, but all in all this is a project I got done in about two hours. Make sure you don't drop your pieces on the floor though. The sock monkey should be made with love and care. Next you just stuff the body of the sock monkey with your favorite fiber film. to roll the appendages between my hands in order to keep them from getting too lumpy. And then you sew the crotch closed. If your thread matches the socks exactly, a whip stitch is fine for this. If you don't really want your stitches to be seen, I recommend a ladder stitch. I use the ladder stitch almost always, it's really great. Then 
it's just about stuffing the rest of the appendages. You want the arms to be fairly close in size to the legs. You really shouldn't be too worried about overstuffing, the socks will stretch. As long as the tension from your sewing machine is normal, your seams shouldn't have a problem. For sewing on the tail, I like to sew a gathering stitch around the opening of the tail and, well, gather it up. Then again, you can either whip stitch or ladder stitch it to the body right above the heel of the sock, which is now the monkey's butt. to attach is the mouth. This part is tricky only because it's kind of awkward to sew on. Once you find a way that works for you, you're fine. I pin it down on the top side and back stitch over the top, ladder stitch two thirds of the bottom, stuff it, and then sew it closed. It's important to do the mouth before the arms or anything else because you'll be able to see the spacing of it all a lot better. up into the rest of the ear as far in as you'd like. I usually make them so that the ears end up about half the size that they were originally, and then attach both of them to the head. Okay then, moving on, the last appendages. Really, for the arms, you just do the exact same thing you did for the tail, but sewing them on parallel to the ears. Finally, the last things we have are the pieces for the face. You just sew on the buttons for eyes, and then I do French knots for the nostrils, but since I only just figured out how to do them without royally messing them up, I am not qualified to teach you this. They take practice. If you want to, you can just cut two squares or circles from felt and sew those down instead. That's what I used to do, and it works perfectly fine. And there you have it cute little sock monkey friend. If you decide that you don't want to make one yourself, but you'd really like to have one, I sell these on my Etsy. I've got a couple of different types of socks. I can always find more. I've got a few new types of socks. And I also sell little lush animals. I also have narwhals and whales. 
and I think that's it. Other things that I sell, headbands that can be any color that you see here. So sea foam, pink, a yellow, a light blue, and a purple. Rings and bobby pins. All of these are made with clay frangipani flowers. Frangipanis are the flowers that are used in Hawaiian leis. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. There's a link to my Etsy right over there. I hope to make more of these videos, these and others. Bye!